Each of us enters this sanctuary with a different need. Yedaber Adonai El Moshe Lemohor. Why do we pray? Jewish tradition offers this response. The one who rises from prayer a better person, that person's prayer has been answered. My Torah portion, Kedoshim, describes ways to be holy. One big way it mentions is to remove obstacles for the disabled. My interpretation is that guides us to remove obstacles and challenges from people who are dealing with all sorts of disabilities because they already have enough challenges. The Foundless Jewish Congregation requires each bar or bat mitzvah to undertake a mitzvah project. This is an opportunity to show that we understand a very basic and a very important principle of Judaism, that each of us has an obligation to help address the problems we see in the world around us. For my mitzvah project, I am working to remove a stumbling block by providing technology to help with communication and learning. I am doing this by raising funds to purchase an iPad to help remove stumbling blocks for children who are bravely fighting cancer. I was inspired to perform this mitzvah by one amazing little boy. My nephew Connor was born with a tumor around his neck. He was only a few days old when he had to get a tracheotomy tube and a feeding tube to help him breathe and get nutrition during his fight with the tumors. For the first few years of his life, his voice was silent. Connor needed to start to use a special valve that allowed him to breathe in through his trach but out through his mouth, pushing air over his vocal cords, allowing him to start to make some sounds. But Connor didn't like the valve. It made him very scared, as he felt like he couldn't breathe, so he didn't want to use it. It wasn't until he was offered the use of his father's iPad in exchange for using the valve. The that Connor felt the deal was sweet enough to try. After that, Connor slowly adjusted to his valve and to everyone's joy, he started making sounds. I'm going to buy an iPad for the Magical Moon Foundation located in Marshville, Massachusetts. This is an amazing foundation, helps kids who are battling life-threatening cancers by focusing on the non-medical side of dealing with cancer. They knight the kids battling cancer in a knighting ceremony. They are given armor to help them in battle. The real armor they give these kids is keeping them mentally strong, providing them with as much happy time as they can, and encouraging the kids to keep a positive attitude. So far, I have raised $455 through two bake sales. This is about two-thirds of the total amount I need for the iPad. I love baking and cooking, so I thought it was a great way to do something I love for something I love. Moving a stumbling block in the process. The portion of the Torah which I will be reading this morning is called Kedoshim, a Hebrew word taken from the opening verse of this section, which begins with the words, You shall be holy because I am an I am holy. Rabbi Gunther Plout says the real meaning of these words is more like, you shall be something special. I thought how perfect for Emma to read those words. You are something special. Teaching you has been a learning experience. It's been inspiring. And you are a very special person. And you also have a compassion for other people and understand what challenges face them and what you can do. And that certainly came through in your mitzvah project. Today, Emma, you taught us about removing obstacles from those in need. It is remarkable how you were able to draw inspiration from your cousin Connor's experience and create a mitzvah project that could be meaningful to so many children who are dealing with the obstacle that is cancer. And thank you, Emma, for being the kind, curious, intelligent, loving child who gives the best to us.